Subscribe as well as watch the video all the way through, not because the ashtick is man today. Tate and I are going to be looking at uh, outfitting the attic into some heated space for some friends. I'm Clay Nelson, I'm a general contractor from Westmore, Louisiana. I like to make videos. This is one of my favorite houses in the neighborhood. It's got like that shotgun look style there. This is the attic space right here. We got a lower part here and an upper part. This is gonna be like a den type area, maybe an extra bedroom. This part here will be like an office type situation and we're just trying to figure out how to fit it all in. The biggest part is gonna be able to figure out how the stairs are gonna work. I know somebody that can make it work. Oh, dang. there you are, Tate. Well, wow. sorry I stepped on your pencil there. It's okay, buddy. Did Grandpa buy you that pencil? He did. Is he living anymore? No. <laughs> Okay, this ribbon means absolutely nothing except for just a little bit of a visual for us and the homeowner to figure out like what we're going to do. So you decided to come see us there, George. I decided to come to town and sing a song. <laughs> and now the brick is fully underway. Normally we'd be starting on the brick a lot quicker, but these windows took forever to get in. Finally got in and then we had a couple little things with the framing that took a little time to hem up, but we're rolling now. We're always dealing with carpenter support, or maybe we should even call them laborers. Tate and I, we're sort of a two-man show, so we're always trying to recruit people to, to help us with different projects, and it's not really always a consistent job, so we never really keep them real busy. It's normally like a lot of times the subcontractors will take care of their own labor, but every now and then we'll need help. And that's really a topic of discussion between Tate and I quite a bit, is just talking about how somebody can be a good laborer or a good helper in construction. The best quality is one that pays attention. It's almost like the laborer needs to stay one step ahead. Uh, yeah. whatever's happening or a helper yeah, yeah. maybe not think necessarily about, labor kind of think about what's coming next that way you know what to get ready for they've already got their hand on the board that you need yeah i guess a, a helper is maybe one step above a laborer a helper is somebody that actually does need to know what's going on with yeah. the project like if he sees that you have maybe three rungs of nails in your nail bag he should know yeah. that you need some more nails yeah it's terminology is important too when i ask for something if you ask for a skill saw you don't need a hammer no a lot of common sense comes into play whenever you're a helper a lot of common sense comes into play whenever you're in construction period you're a carpenter but you can also do just about anything else. Yeah, General good construction knowledge. sense. Yeah. It's kind of like, what if zombies attack? I mean, nobody's ever fought a zombie, but I mean, when they do attack, I want somebody like Tate on my side because he has good general knowledge of just how to work with his hands. And I've always said that I'd want like a spear because you wouldn't have to have any ammo. You could just stab. Yeah, just stick them. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, the main thing is most of the people, you know, at least about half the people in the group would have to be slower than I am. Ah, that's true. Food. So, zombie yes. food. Yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah, point, You always got to keep around some zombie food. <clears throat> yeah. There's one more thing I wanted to say about being a helper is the ideal helper is another carpenter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Somebody yeah, it that's is. <laughs> yeah, the, that's the very yeah. best helper yeah. is to have two carpenters. Yeah, in a perfect world, it's not always the way it works, but shifting to laborers, so let's just face it, a laborer is not somebody that has a lot of experience with any, yeah. with a lot of times with anything. Maybe it's just I don't see the things that they have experience with. Most of the time with a laborer, it's more of a repetition deal. That way you can kind of tell them one time and, it, and it'll go on for, for the duration of a job or a day. Yeah, the two things I guess you would look for in a laborer is somebody that can do something that's repetitive and then somebody that will do it at a good pace. Yeah. Because a lot of times you'll get somebody that move this pile of dirt over here, shovel here, throw it over here. Just a simple task. And then yeah. on and top of that, they would do it slowly. So if you yeah. can get just those two simple things, then you would have a good labor. You don't have to be running, but you have to be constantly moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not trying to kill nobody. We just yeah. steady. I'm glad you said that. When there's a task at hand, we know the task needs to be done. We try to relay that to the laborer or helper and we expect them to at least follow yeah. our pace. I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of insight from Clay and Tate. What should we call this new section of the show, Tate? Clay, should we call this section of the show Clay? Yeah, yeah reflections from the from the Nelson Bell oh, Carpenters. I like that. Reflections. Dang, that's philosophical. Anyway, that's been another episode of Clay Kim. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.